Hello. I want to go ahead and start this video off by shouting out my nigga Aldo. I appreciate you watching my videos. Also, gotta shout out my wife. Thank you as well for watching my videos. And shout out my nigga Kenny. I also appreciate you for watching my videos. Um, I hope everybody's been alright. I hope everything's been smooth and good. Now, um, in this video, today, I'm not going to be talking about, you know, the stuff that I usually do. Um, in this one, I want to have a bit of a serious chat um, about, you know, basically the basics of safety driving the one on one. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And I hope everybody's doing all right. All righty. So, let's take our 18 wheeler here. Now, this is an 18 wheeler. That is a car or a regular truck. Now, let's go ahead and compare these sizes size by side. Now, if you can see clearly, let me get that whole thing in there. So, if you compare this, this thing is about two of these, almost, basically. You know, yeah, about two of these. So, you got something that's about twice the size of that. Now, let's be more realistic here. Because these typically weigh... Okay, the truck alone typically weighs about, let's say, from somewhere from 20-something thousand to about almost 30 max. Now... These trailers, they go almost, the max weight you're going to have is at least about 40,000, maybe 45 at most. Because you cannot weigh over 80,000 pounds altogether. So, this altogether, let's say is 75,000 pounds, let's go with that, or 70,000 pounds, we'll go with that, 70. Most vehicles, cars typically only weigh about 2,000 to 3,000, trucks, more likely like five, maybe at max, probably six, seven. No matter what you say, this is nowhere near, not even 10,000 pounds. And even if it was, what is 10,000 pounds compared to 70,000 pounds? You still got 60,000 pounds less than what we are hauling right here. So, if you're going down the street, you know, that's cool, fly right by us. That's safe. But don't just drive real close. That's dangerous. That is seriously dangerous. Like driving in a blind spot. Let's say this is the blind spot where I cannot see from my mirror right here. And let's say I got my signal and I'm about to turn. But this car here comes into my blind spot. And right when I decide to turn and I don't see them. Boom. Boom. Okay, so let's stop right there. There's already two problems. Problem one is the vehicle itself in a hazardous spot. Number two, they're going to die. Plain and simple as that, they're dead. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it, but with all that pressure hitting something as little as this, it'll be from this regular truck to probably about that. So the rest of that, what behind my hand right here, everything behind my hands is all gone, and that's all that's going to be left. And that's if they get to make it, because they're more than likely dead. So now they're dead. Alrighty, next scenario. Let's say you're on the interstate. Again, semi, tractor, trailer, cement mixer. So, yes, that is a cement mixer right there. So, they're right beside each other on the interstate. Riding along. Vroom. 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 Now, let's say... The cement truck gets ahead about that far. Just enough space like that, because that's typically how it is on an interstate now. Let's say this car gets tired of waiting. 
So they're right there, can't get past yet. But then the cement chuck gets a little bit faster, a little bit faster, just enough space for the chuck to slide through. And they decide, boom, I'm taking it. Let me stop that right there. Now this one has so many errors, I couldn't even name specifically the number. So I'm just gonna go off of what I'm seeing here. The first error is exactly where this truck is. That's the most deadliest thing anyone can do. You're gonna die right here. You're gonna die. All it takes, for example, let's say this cement truck suddenly decides to slam on brakes because there's an accident. Boom, right as they're doing it. So they slam on brakes, boom. Start slowing down, uh. They get caught right there, and then they're also gonna get caught by this truck. That's the point I'm making. Like that. Mm. Point of contact like that, ain't no way anyone here is gonna survive. Dead, dead than a motherfucker, dead. Secondly, the driver right here is the worst type of thinker ever. To ever even think of cutting in between something that close just to get away from it or around it is really dangerous and stupid. If you cannot be that patient, then you should not be on the interstate. If you wanna endanger other lives, you should not be on the interstate. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't need to have a license. It's so simple. All you have to do, slow down. Slow down, back up, get behind the truck, and simply go the other way. Why would you say in the lane, that's for trucks? Because most people don't know this, so let me go ahead and give you a little info. The two right lanes are typically for trucks. So this lane and this lane is mostly for trucks or people going as fast as trucks. But trying to speed from, let's say the two left fast lanes and there's someone going slow in those lanes. Typically you're gonna have people who do that because they're just bored or want a quick check. But to decide, oh well, I'm gonna go over here in the two right lanes and cut around all this traffic to get around. There's more space. That's just a death wish in my opinion because you don't know what's gonna happen on the road. That's the most deadliest thing you can do. Yet people play with car trucks anyway, like it's nothing. So please be safe, please be safe. Now the last unsafest thing to do, and this one in particular is just for this person because this is unsafe what they're doing. So you're on an interstate. They're in the right two lanes. The cement truck this time is going slower. This truck is trying to pass, but it can't because this truck wants to ride right beside the cement truck. Now, if there are three to four lanes, trucks are really typically not allowed in the two left lanes, but of course we do it anyway because people can't drive nowadays. Anyways, back to the subject. So, to do that, to ride right beside someone and impede traffic, that's an X right there because all it takes is for the wrong person to get mad. And there's some people, and I've actually seen it too. I'll show that scenario later. But anyways, there's some people who get mad and almost hit you or either try and hit you to get you off the road. Or in some cases, they'll do like this. Let's say um, that the truck went around because the camera is too close. So I, I couldn't have the truck go around. But let's say the truck went around and then got in front of the car. And this is what drivers do because I've seen this happen too. For you being crazy and messing up traffic as we see it and endangering us and playing with us as well when we got stuff to do the first thing a driver's gonna do as soon as he get in front of that car we're gonna slam on them brakes if we slam on them brakes and if you're real close you're gonna end up under there so please tell me if this is 40,000 pounds and this is 
let's go ahead and put it at 8,000 or 10,000, whichever one makes you more happier. You telling me that an 8 to 10,000 pound car is really going to be able to stick under a trailer and sit up like this toy. If anyone thinks that that would, you don't need your license. Because right now, they're dead. They're going to die. And they won't make it. They won't. So please, don't be that person. Also, don't be this truck driver who hit brakes on people, but just don't be this type of person. Please. Please don't. Alright, last scenario. Now, this one here. Ooh, I know a lot of you people do this, so please don't feel offended. But this is one of the worst things you could do. And this is a 100% guarantee way that you're gonna die. You're gonna die 100% sure. Never fails. Going down the interstate, you decide to hop in this lane. And, you know, there's cars that usually ride in that lane, like the truck right here in the front. So this truck in the front is going slow. This truck right here, he's riding behind him, trying to be patient, but also getting tired of it. Of course, here's your semi guy, just about to pass. So just as he's passing, this truck decides, I don't want to wait anymore. He decides, I don't want to wait anymore. So out of nowhere, as the truck starts coming, he just booms. I cannot tell you how many times that has happened to me. And I cannot tell you how many times I've kind of been to the point, because this happened so much now. At these points now, I'm just kind of like, fuck it. I don't even really say nothing. I don't even get mad. I'm just like, well, if you die, you're going to die. But I'm not going to feel bad about it. Because, I mean, this shouldn't even be part of the video. This should be common sense. This really should be common sense. So, that's why I said that. I'm to the point now. If you jump in front of me like this, and if I hit you, and if you die, please don't think I'm going to feel bad. Because this should be common sense not to do this one. This is how serious this is. So, they decide to cut in front of the truck and floor it. Boom. Now, that time they got lucky. But I can't tell you how many times when people cut me off like that. The only thing I literally see sometimes is just the top of the car or just a flare pass by or a blare pass by as they zoom by. But it's so close, like, they almost died. A lot of people almost have died doing it. And it's sad, and I'm not saying it's sad because I wouldn't feel bad, but I'm saying it's sad that people really feel their life isn't worth that much to risk cutting in front of a truck to go to an exit that's what, half a mile, one mile, maybe two miles down the road. I mean, cutting in front of a truck just to go a little faster really doesn't do nothing. And it's, it's really bad. That's... <sighs> All I can say, this right here, your family's gonna miss you, man. And if I have to, I'll go and put candles out. I'm not gonna feel bad for you, but I will at least put out candles for you. So, if you don't want me to put out candles for you, I'm asking you, please, don't do any of what I show in this one on one, because just tonight there's a reason i actually made this video is because just tonight when i was at work going and coming back from my routes there was so much traffic which everybody knows friday has the most traffic but the problem was there were so many accidents and most of them involved a car and a truck now i recently seen one a couple just last month actually uh, they had the old interstate cut down, of course, basically that's manslaughter. Um, when you get hit by a truck and you die and your shit spread it all over the road, they call that manslaughter for truck drivers. Um, yeah, I'm sure that man lost his job because 
I didn't see no car. I just seen a truck. But I know I seen parts all over the road and something else that they had to clean up. So I hope everybody enjoyed this little one-on-one -on -one safety with being over the road and dealing with tractor trailers and your cars because I really don't want to have to worry about hitting someone or crushing a car and having to stop and all that. So please save us all the trouble and just drive safe. I hope y'all do. And thanks for watching. Hope you have a great one.